By far, most weight is the adrenal glands and the inability to metabolize sugars. And uh, we love starch. They promote starch. I, I saw that new food chart from the American Dietetics Association. Now, to me, the American Dietetics Association is an unsci unscientific association. Uh, for me, they're bought and paid for. They, I mean, to come out with these ridiculous things, they still have dairy up there. Nobody, I mean, you're supposed to be weaned, guys, after age two. Homo sapien weaning of, of milk is at age two if it's from your mother. No species crosses so radically into such a, a, a cow's milk, which a cow can get, what, 900 pounds in a year, and our little babies, no way, you know, so uh, no way do we uh, deal with that heavily a concentrated milk. But if you cook these things, you take an alkaline food source and make it an acid mucus forming protein that's radical chemistry to the human body. Uh, and then they had grains and proteins. Well, the body can't even use proteins. I find that amazing that people push proteins. And I see this in gyms all around the country. i got to have my protein. Well, your body can't use protein, guys. Sorry, so why eat it? It just acidifies the body, hurts the kidneys, hurts the bowels. Number one, colon cancer, of course, for generations now lung, but colon cancer, there's been report after report linking colon cancer to protein diets, and the kidneys go, go slamming on proteins. So get away from all proteins, nuts included. This man has a fetish with proteins, and it's, it's a wrong fetish. Uh, and that doesn't serve. Your strongest animals in, on the planet do not eat protein. Your herbivores and your primates, they do not you, uh, eat protein. When they do, they get aggressive, mean, and you don't want to be close to them. Uh, the chronic obstructive lung problem goes right along uh, with the adrenal glands. That's the autonomic nervous system that separates you from pneumonia and asthma on. Asthma on is a neurological weakness. I think I covered that in my lungs and mucus one. But uh, that's the autonomic nervous system. You've got to fix your adrenals, and they sit right on top of the kidneys. You're going to see your lymph system going bad. You're going to hold water and be bloaty from that. That's all, about, uh, all acidosis. Um, what else you got going on here, man? A diabetic, again, that goes right back to the adrenals if it's type 2. Hypo, which is hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia, that's type 2. That's all the adrenal glands. That's sugar metabolism. Type 1, you're going to the pancreas. But then, in, a, in one of the videos, I pointed out that it can be the nervous system in the pancreas that can give you type 1. That would fall into the adrenal weakness and because uh, that's the autonomic in the pancreas. And here we've uh, got this. Uh, in time, uh, you'll get used to all these words and get used to the body. You guys will be good. You guys will be on, and you'll be able to heal anything. And these guys spending 10 years in school will sit there with egg on their face. But uh, uh, if you can do all raw, do all raw. Mostly when you're real big like that, hard to do all raw. So if you can't do all raw, do some cooked vegetables. You know, don't try to, to push yourself and, uh, and, and create conflict because you want this to be a happy time. You want this to be a fun time. Remember, you're putting a smiley face on 100 trillion cells. And uh, do it the way you can because with weak adrenals, you have the emotional component. And if you have a thyroid parathyroid, then you have a self-image problem. And you have a calcium metabolism problem, which is going to give you some depression. So go slow and work through these if you can. If you need help, the clinic will be glad to help you in these respects. This is why I use glandulars because we're getting into some chronic adrenals and thyroid, parathyroid weakness. You always check to see a pituitary, not to confuse you on that. Uh, thanks for the neuroscientist. I'm in love with science. I love science. I don't know what pharmaceutical science is. I call it pseudoscience because uh, I don't know where these guys come from. But uh, chemistry and physics rule, you know, and one has to put chemistry and physics. I think when we look at chemistry, we have to put chemistry in context with physics. And physics is more holistic looking, especially quantum physics. So important to merge these two with some spirituality. Spirituality sees the world as one not as isolated entities. And so the intellectual mind sees things as isolates. The problem with isolates is they have side effects. 
and there's more power, more strength in the whole than there are in its parts. So um, that's the problem with science. It's important to always keep science objectively and in an observed state because this biosphere is already here. The largest lab we have access to is planet Earth and the universe. It's not like we create these things that God already did. We're just in an observation mode figuring out how it did it. And uh, we need to learn the, the laws of nature because especially the strong survive, the weaker consumed. Uh, that one applies cellularly too, guys, and that's why you never weaken the cells in your body. That's where virals come in, and I think I did one on viruses and the like. Again, on the leukemia guy, keep going. Dig in with a lot of grapes. Keep fruit flowing through that blood. If you want to pop some greens, pop some greens, but do the parsley, the dandelions, and the meats. It'll help you with that. Uh, so I think I've just about answered most of these. Uh, I appreciate your good comments, guys. I really do. It always helps me to build me up, too, you know, because I'm always dealing in people's problems. And uh, after a while, it gets to you because if you sat in my chair and what you see, what some of these medical doctors do to, to people, it's just, it's revolting. Especially that poor Trevor where they tied his stomach around his esophagus because he was throwing up because he couldn't, he had a little pancreas or a little uh, uh, liver and uh, gallbladder weakness. And uh, kids don't deal well on high fat and high protein formulas anyway. This is the problem. We're making all the kids fat. There's no muscle anymore on kids. And so uh, the things they do, Botox treatments in the rectum when babies can't poop. I mean, this is what's happening. Uh, they're smoking more than something in the back room. Um, yes, calcium utilization, the utilization of everything, magnesium, the whole nine yards. You're back at the adrenal gland doorway here and very important. And this is why it's hard to, to deal with calcium and magnesium because you have the little brother phosphorus and then everybody else is related too. Chemistry is already complete. If you can look at chemistry in this universe, it's like a packed room full of people. There's, you can't play with chemistry. And I, I do try to touch that in all these videos that don't isolate chemistry and spec to be well. Use the, uh, use the herbs. Because I, I do touch that in this video coming up for you on, the, on detoxification and the intelligence plants have. I love that one about the airport where this... Uh, this uh, university, this doctorate female, I love her, where she's, her plants are smarter than dogs. She's, she's trained her plants to, uh, to change colors when, when they determine certain chemicals, and she says they're more accurate than dogs. I love it. I'm a plant lover. Being a hermit for a long time, um, uh, you, you get to loving plants, and so I have gardens all around where I live because uh, I love to be enmeshed in beauty and flowers. We need to plant flowers everywhere. Uh, someone told me about, uh, they're on Synthroid. This is when you use a glandular. When you take a hormone like Synthroid, which is synthetic T4, or people are on armor. Dr. Jensen even put himself on armor and his wife. And when he first came to me with his wife, uh, it's like, guys, you can't be on armor. It's making your thyroids weaker. And that was famous Dr. Jensen. But you know, sometimes we get trapped in things, you know. But uh, uh, Synthroid, uh, you've got to use a glandular, which is a desiccated thyroid gland. Think a stem cell type of thinking. This enhances the whole thyroid gland, and therefore you don't, it'll make its own T4. Uh, the other thing is you want to check to see if it's...